This here is an old PLC made by Square D. But when I looked for information online, I found out it's actually a Japanese brand of PLC. It's called IDEC. Uh, it's called Micro One, this um, range of PLCs. Didn't have a cable or software for it. So until recently, I began to use it. So the first thing I did was to, you know, build a small compressor on main one from a refrigerator uh, gas compressor here. It's an LG1. I attached uh, a, a pressure switch and a pressure gauge, a solid state relay, and I built it on, on top of a uh, also uh, a Vreon gas discarded tank. And the pressure line goes into a 5 to uh, pneumatic valve here. I I savage from the dump. Uh, my former employee were was discharging everything. They were throwing away everything to the junk. Also, this small piston here and the magnetic switches. They were all discarded. Although they were all in good uh, working order, I wired them up to the PLC here, the micro one, input zero and one. That's where the uh, magnetic switches are. And also a push button here that I also savage from a printed circuit board. I wired up to a output, uh, I mean input two. Also a a photo eye from banner that was also discarded. I wired up to input number three. And it's this is a um, a, a sync type of PLC, so the inputs will go low. Uh, Whenever there 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 there's a high state, uh, voltage goes to zero. So that's how the PLC is wired up. It's syncing inputs, which is a good thing, because uh, if it's a short, short circuit, it means that well they're not active, really. So here I'm approaching the the photo eye to the reflex, and that acts like a light curtain. So this is a simulation of a pneumatic press. So I press the button here. Piston will come out and stay on for two seconds and then it retracts. And the light beam will reset. It will also uh, forbid the, uh, the press to trigger if it's blocked. And if uh, the, um, the press is triggered, it will reset it in case you block the light, like here. I I immediately retracts the piston. So that is just a simulation of a pneumatic press, you know, to uh, an, an assembly press. This is just a simulation. I'm not actually building a press. I'm just uh, um, simulating this to test uh, the program and, you know, to just go along and program the PLC with some working, um, well, logic. And actually, I also find online uh, the software that you use for this brand of controllers. It's called Wind LDR. Some kind of, uh, I guess it's an acronym for Windows Ladder or something. Wind LDR. And here is a monitor mode. You can see the states of different uh, the inputs and the memory bits switching on and off. And the interface between the, PL, uh, the PLC and the PSC is using RS-232 here. So I built my own interface. And you, what you need is a, 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 a telephone cable. And here is um, uh, the, the, the interface itself. Here, the PLC provides 12 volts. And the interface uh, uses a MAX-32 because the PLC uses TLT levels. So here you have it, a working IDEC Micro 1 PLC.